So guys, for the first step, you want to get to this screen. Now to get to this screen, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. Once you turn it back on again, you're going to see the Windows Zone screen. Now once you see the Windows Zone screen, you want to turn off your computer and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then it will bring you to here. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on Advanced Options, which will then bring us into here. And now once we're in here, we're going to click on Troubleshoot and then click on Advanced Options. Now we have a few methods we can try. So for the first method, you want to try doing a system restore. Click on it. And now if you have a system restore, you can click on next. And then you can select your system restore, click on next, follow the steps, and then it will bring you back to your last restore point, which will then fix your problem. But if you do not have a system restore, don't worry, we're going to try the next three methods. So you're going to click on cancel, which will then bring us here again. Click on troubleshoot again, and then click on advanced options again. And now for the second method, you should have an option that's called system image recovery. If you don't see it here, click on see more recovery options. And if you previously backed up Windows to a system image file, then you can click on this. And you can go back to the previous backup, which should then fix your problem. But for me, I don't have it, so I'm going to click on cancel. And now for the third method, you're going to click on troubleshoot again, advanced options again. And if you have an option that's called go back to the previous build, you want to try that. So click on go back to the previous build and then follow that if you can. If you can't, then we're going to go back. And then you want to click on reset this PC. Make sure that you have your files backed up. And there are two options that you can go with. You could either keep your files, which will keep your personal files, or you could just remove everything. I recommend just backing up all your files and then going with remove everything. And then that's fix your problem. 